Okay, welcome to yet another video on this channel. Thanks for coming back, by the way. In this video, we are going to learn about how to find the basis and dimension of a subspace, subspace of a vector space, of course. In this case, the vector space is V3R, which means it is a three dimensional real valued vector, right? And the subspace is given by the, the, the subspace is spanned by the set containing vectors 2 for 2, 1 negative 1 0, 1 2 1, 0 3 1. So we are going to follow the following algorithm. First, we are going to write down the row space of the given vectors. The row space is basically a matrix that we are going to create. The second step is to find the row echelon form. There are some readers who like to read this as echelon form, but of course it's your choice. The third step is to find the rank of uh, rank. Uh, I, mean, I mean, of course, once you get the row echelon form, we will uh, definitely get the rank. And the fourth step is to find out the uh, basis of the subspace by observing the certain rows of the row echelon form which basically um, you know like corresponds to the pivot value in the row echelon form we will go through all of those but first of all let's write, write down the row space now in order to write down the row space what we do is that we write down the elements the values the field values of the vector 2 4 2 as as three columns right so 2 4 2 the second vector will be written as 1 negative 1 0 as one row in our row space matrix then we have got 1 2 1 as the other one the third vector the fourth vector 0 3 1 is written as 0 3 and 1 as the last row last column element okay so this is our row space matrix right now we are going to um, do some operations over here and those operations are going to lead us to a row echelon form right so if you observe carefully if we convert the row 2 to be 2 times row 2 minus row 1 and the row 3 to be 2 times row 3 minus row 1, we are going to get our first pivot point as 2. So 2, 4, 2, they remain unchanged. The last row, 0, 3, 1, remains unchanged as well so 2 times 1 is 2 2 minus 2 is 0 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6 2 times 0 is 0 minus 2 is negative 2 and in the third row 2 times 1 is 2 minus 2 is 0 2 times 2 is 4 4 minus 4 is 0 2 times 1 is 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. Okay, so we have right now identified our first pivot element. That is our pivot element, right? I've highlighted that in blue. Okay, now uh, we can do one more operation here, right? We can write our new R4 to be uh, 2 times R4 plus R2, right? So let's write down R1 through R3 as they are 2, 4, 2, 0, negative 6, 2, 0, 0, 0. And we will have our last row as follows. So 0, 2 times 0 is 0 plus 0 is 0. Okay, that remains 0. That's good because 2 was our, um, if you remember, the pivot element, right, that we had got previously. We are in search of our new pivot element. Let me remind you that. Okay, last row, second element is 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus R2 element is negative 6. 6 plus negative 6 is 6 minus 6. That is 0. Okay, good. And 1 times 2 is 2. 2 plus negative 2 is 0. Oh, great. 
So we have got all zeros over here. That's actually a good news. But at the same time, we must appreciate that we have got another pivot element. And I think, and as you can see, we have reached the end of finding the row echelon form. So step number two, we have found out the row echelon form. Now it's time for us to identify what is the rank, right? So the rank of this matrix is equal to two because there are two non-zero rows corresponding to the rank calculation, right? So the first row and the second row. The third and the fourth rows are all zero rows, so we are not going to consider them. So since the rank is two, we will say that the dimension, dimension of the subspace spanned by given vectors equals 2. Okay, now next step is to find out, uh, we have to identify the rows having pivot elements, right? And that will give us the basis. Now, what are the rows corresponding to the pivot elements? There is one row which is named as row 1, which is the first row. And the second row, which is named as row 2, these are the two rows which can be identified having contributed to the cal calculation for the rank, right? So the basis vectors, the basis vectors would be the first vector that we have written down there, right? So 2, 4, 2, right? So that is the first vector. Okay, maybe I should write down the vector in the form that is given in the question, 2, 4, 2, that is the first vector and the second vector, right? So if we scroll down to the question, you see that the second vector is 1, negative 1, 0, right? So 2, 4, 2 and 1, negative 1, 0. So these two are the basis vectors that is span, uh, basis vectors of the subspace that is spanned by the given vectors. Okay, so that ends this problem. It's a short problem, easy problem, can be done. Thank you for watching.